morning everyone and welcome back to another edition of 12 stones outdoor adventures and today we're headed to meet the cross paddles crew we're going to be paddling about 10 miles on the lumber river and then afterwards we're having the annual river feast going to be doing hamburgers hot dogs all the fixings and then right after that we'll be having the toys for tots and uh, taking up toys for needy families, for uh, kids that may not be so fortunate this Christmas. And uh, we're looking forward to a good time today. This is a new experience for us. We've never done a Blackwater River. So this is gonna be all new to us. It's uh, mostly flat water from what I understand, but we're looking forward to a good time today. Stay tuned and God bless. We had a little over a two hour drive to reach the Lumber River State Park in Orem. And once we arrived, we were immediately greeted by many old friends from the Cross Paddles crew. Look who it is. A good buddy, River Jim. Let's go on. Good morning, buddy. How are you? Got a big crowd. Got a big crowd. Johnny Atkins. How you doing, Billy? Hey, buddy, how are you? Good. Good, Good to see you, here, man. Good to be here. Rob? Good to see you. Hey, buddy. It's been a while since I paddled with you. Good yeah. to see you this morning, man. It's been a while. Glad you can make it, bro. Good to see you, Billy. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. So we're just trying to get everybody together. Trying to get boats offloaded onto other vehicles and trying to minimize the number of vehicles we have to take to the put in. And uh, then we're gonna set the shuttle. Good to be back on the water with my good friend Mitch. Boogie. Yeah. What's up, what's up? Shane, who I met in prison. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Today's journey would provide a new experience for us, and while we'd paddled quite a few rivers, we'd never ventured down a Blackwater River such as this one. So we're out here on the Lumber River and uh, just taking a moment to kind of wait on some of the others that uh, got a late start. It's a beautiful day out here on the water. It's about 65 right now. We're expecting a high of about 71. And uh, I think if they counted correctly, we got 28 boaters on the river today big group of people and uh, man it's beautiful out here the uh, the black water man it's a beautiful tea stained color and they say that's uh, from the de decaying sediment and plants and stuff on the riverbed One of the longest unobstructed rivers in North Carolina, the Lumber River was named after the extensive timber harvesting and transporting done in the late 1700s. After its headwaters, the river was originally named Drowning Creek because of the dangerous undercurrents, steep drop-offs, and murky waters. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> and shallow on this side. Yeah. Around the midpoint of this float, the river decided to narrow quite a bit, causing a funnel effect and deadfalls posed somewhat a challenge to navigate at times. A few inches less water would have made that a portage. <laughs> Quickly. That's the story of my life. <laughs> Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. You remember that? Uh, there was a, a, a channel up, up there. Can we pass a little bit ago? Yeah, I think so. There's a tree of houses. If you took that time, it comes out right now. Oh, okay. Shane wasn't the only one who failed the paddle toss. About 30 minutes prior, he had to fetch my paddle out of a tree. I don't think it was a lack of skill or a poor choice of trees. I'll return the favor, how's that? No, we're not. So we survived our first Blackwater River, and uh, thankfully, Andrew didn't get eaten by the alligators. It's been a fun trip. Guy He's harmless. You want him? He's harmless. I don't like his mate. <laughs> Boogie, you've been looking for him all day. Yeah, I know it. There, you want it? Yeah. Andrew? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Give him. Remember how we talk about people overhandling snakes in videos? Yeah, no. <laughs> I think cross paddles might have one step up on the 12 stones, boys. You a fine job, baby. Well, we try. Looking good, looking good. What you into over here, Mr. Barber? Some baked beans, got some chili. Baked beans and chili. Alabama Barber homemade baked bean like we had at my birthday party. Okay. Miss you, Rick. That's how you got to do it. Yeah, she made some good baked beans. That's good one. It's the first step. What you got to say about that, Boogie? Ain't got much to say at all. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Andrew. You have fun today? Mm -hmm. Did you? 
Did you really have fun today? Yeah. Because you don't look like you had fun today. I'm tired. Or you just wore out. Oh, okay, that explains it. You wore out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd like to say what a pleasure it is to be here and thank all the little people that made it possible for me. <laughs> He's talking about oh, yeah. me. <laughs> Anthony, you you actually trust this guy on the grill next to you? He had nothing to do with it. This is my station. Still that would you prove? He slapped my hand. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think you're in violation of OSHA standards, please. <laughs> so this cross paddles event, the Lumber River Paddle and annual River Feast, is also a big event, a uh, big push for Toys for Tots. And uh, let me just show you a pile of toys that were donated for these kids for Christmas this year. Hi. That's a bunch of toys. How are you? Yeah. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Good, good. That'll be a blessing to some kid this year for yeah, Christmas. Cool. Thanks, Mitch, Missy, Anthony, and Johnny and the Cross Paddles crew for all you do for the paddling community and your kind heart to help others. Thank you for watching, and as always, be blessed.